Hello, this is Easy, and welcome to the Renamer Maker. This is something new here. Don't get it confused with uh, I got another plugin called the Quick Renamer. This is the uh, Renamer Maker. This will make uh, buttons, and um, you can rename real quick. I'll just show you really quick. This is the demo version here. We're going to open the zip file up, and we got the Renamer Maker demo here and the ZSC and we got the code replacer demo a folder all right it's highly recommended for you to go ahead and try the demo before you buy the full version the reason why I say that is because this has not been tested on all operating systems so if the demo don't work for you then don't buy the full version all right if it works for you the demo then the full version should work for you so with that said, we're going to take both of these here and drag over and we're going to go and right click and copy. We're going to go to the ZBrush here, right click, go to properties, find target, start up, go down to Z plugs, and we're going to paste these in here, right click and paste. And make sure that uh, it, it might take a few extra seconds, so make sure this completes here. We'll just close this out for now until this completes. Um, both of these are highlighted. I want to click just this one folder here. This is optional what I'm doing here um, Because it's a lot simpler for me. I'm gonna right click and I'm going to create a shortcut for this I'm gonna drag this to my desktop. Okay, this is optional um, It has to be a shortcut that file this folder still has to be in here So make sure that the folder is in here and you didn't you know, remove it So let's go ahead and right click and arrange by modifications make sure that folder is still in there and there's it is right there then we're gonna go ahead and start ZBrush up here and it's gonna be in the Z plugs here and if we come down here to the renamer maker and we'll select here now it's trying to bring a tutorial view window up you can't see in the screen recording, so I'm going to have to drag it up, like here at the bottom. Uh, get to know the hot key, the uh, letter H on the key, that will open it and close it. So make sure you use the hot key if it doesn't work correctly. And you can see it says orange, apple, and banana. Alright, let me go ahead and import something really quick here. And we got this right here. We got the apple, banana, and oranges. Uh, this is, uh, I kind of want them listed in this order and I want to rename them. We go to subtools. Um, I can't rename um, each one because it's one subtool. So we're going to go to split and group split. All right. Uh, another thing is, as you can see, the banana here is the top one. Uh, really, I want the apple to be my top one. And uh, as you notice, these don't have the correct names uh, it, says, it says APLO1 and APLO and another thing they're not in order if I select this one here this was actually my apple and it's you know bottom over here top over here of course I can come down here and uh, rename it but you know this can be a little time consuming this is what this utility does all right so my apple was selected and that's the first one here I'll come over here and press Apple. All right. Now you need to do this in order how you want them done and how you want them listed over here. So my next one I want in order is the banana. I'll click this and press the banana. I'll click the orange and press orange. Now when I come over to my list here, we have apples the top, the banana, and the orange, just like I want them, and they're just in order. Uh, another thing is. Let me close this out uh, and close this out. And here's my little shortcut here. It works by the keywords that are listed in this keyword text. Do not mess with any other uh, text files in here, else it will not work. Uh, another thing you notice is it brings the Apple OBJ in here at the lowest subdivision, the banana, and the orange. It always drops them in here. If you want to uh, save these for later or load them up or delete them, whatever you want, that's fine. So here's the keywords that are here. You notice these are not in alphabetically order, okay? Let's say I wanted these in alphabetically order. 
Now this is the demo, you're only allowed three. And the full version you can have a lot, or you can have a couple hundred. And I will get to that in just a second. So you can see the orange it needs A for the needs to be at the top for alphabetical order. Well what we can do is we'll open up this uh, code replacer demo here and we'll open up ZBrush for just an instance here and we're going to press alphabetical order and press replace code and we're going to wait till it's finished right down here in the status and when it's finished all we got to do is um, we're going to go to the Z plugs here in just a second but look at you know it's still not in alphabetical order so we're going to go to the Z plugs here and press them right here Press the H on the keyboard to bring that up, and now they're in alphabetical order: the A, the B, then the, the O. Uh, another thing is, when I start another project, I want to go ahead and initialize this because if I import another OBJ and it has the word Apple in it, well, it's going to conflict with this one I already got started. So what we want to do every time we start something new, we're going to go to Preference and initialize this. All right, give a second, then we're going to import that uh, one back in here. And we're going to do it really quick this time. Bring it out. Subtools. And we're going to group split this. And we're going to alt click the A for the apple. And now it's going to make it make a lot easier that they're in alphabetical order. Especially if I have a bunch of these. So we'll just press apple. Alt click the banana. B for banana. Alt click the orange here. Then press the orange. And if we come up here. Now they're in alphabetical order. Apple, then banana, then the orange. Now ZBrush keeps these names as long as you save it as a ZTL. So make sure that uh, once you save something and you're done, you want to keep these names for later. We'll press save and you will save this um, wherever you want to because every time you load the ZTL it will keep the names. The OBJs um, are not like the ZTL so always make sure that you save this. Okay we're gonna go on the next step. I removed the demo and I have the full version now. I created a shortcut and when you download the zip file make a backup copy of it. Um, you notice this has code.txt backup. Um, that's a backup of this right here because if we open this up this is what's in here it is because if this gets edited or removed this thing will not work do not touch this uh, text file um, the one that you want to mainly mess with is called the keywords this is actually the one that you will be editing and we're gonna bring this up here and it's got a list and you notice the list this is how you need to have them is you need to have them drop down a line okay we don't want them all in one line all the way across you know we want to keep them drop them down this is what separates the buttons uh, another thing is let's say we go to hips and we don't want to have any kind of spaces like that we want to bring it all the way back to it butts up and we don't want to have any kind of characters or like question marks or you know anything like this we want to have letters uh, text only and that's it or this will make the program not work right okay so we just want to make sure we have text only I'll press no we don't want to make any changes and another thing is uh, we're gonna come over here and we're gonna click this uh, code replacer and it's gonna sh tell me how many words are it's found it's found 73 words okay uh, so what we're gonna do is uh, we're gonna leave everything at default and when we leave everything at the default like that without putting alphabetically order everything that's listed in here in order is going to stay the same I might want it like that so we're going to replace this then we're going to go ahead and open up ZBrush and we're going to go to the plugin here and this is the renamer maker All right, this one does not have the word demo on here this lets you know this is the full one here and you can see here it says Genesis and hips and pelvis if we view the uh, keywords let's bring that up here uh, these are in order see it says Genesis hips and these buttons are in order and uh, if we open up here we want to make sure that we had split sub tools 
and let's say I'm on the you know I'll turn on solo this is the only thing that's selected right now and if I rename this and rename this to Genesis well it drops it at the lowest subdivision um, and you'll notice it looks like one sub to it this is how it works it, there are actually some more in there and uh, that's how it works now if I I'll click let's say the shirt and for some reason by accident I press Genesis again when I already have a Genesis well it's gonna give me an error say Genesis already exists rename it and try again this is kinda of like dummy proof we already don't want to have two Genesis on here we only want to have one which would be this one here alright notice it starts at uh, Genesis hip the pelvis remember the three here so if we uh, go ahead and uh, bring up that uh, code replacer here and if we do it in alphabetically order and replace all right now we're gonna pay attention down here it says Genesis hip and pelvis and if we go to the Z plugin we need to do this so it updates changes in alphabetically order instead of Genesis hips and pelvis everything's gonna be in alphabetical order so we'll click it then you can see now it says abdomen abdomen 2 then the chest if we view the uh, keywords they're still listed as we have them so if I want to change that back all I'm going to do is uncheck the alphabet order replace code wait till it's finished it'll tell you then we're going to see plug in and rename press the rename or maker and everything goes back to normal as the keywords as you see Genesis hip and pelvis Genesis hip and pelvis and we're going to go on the next step Let's say that you want to get a list of words somewhere instead of having to type them all in. Well, uh, you could do like car parts, you know, do a wiki search on car parts list. Or you can do body parts and sometimes they'll give you a list of parts that you can kind of uh, copy and paste. So if we started, let's say, here and just drag down. Well, actually, let me just start at the head here. We'll just start right here. And we'll come down here. And we'll stop right here and we're going to copy that we're going to paste this in the keywords text control A we're going to delete that then control V to paste all these in here and we're going to close that and then we're going to open up the code replacer and we're going to leave everything at the default wait till it finishes and we'll just close this out for now Z plugs and press the rename or maker and there's our whole new list it's just that quick and uh, if I wanted to name that one to the head of I mean pronounce the word there so we'll just click that anyway and you can see the name changed and it does save the tool right here so what you can um, save these and back these up or delete these or whatever just be careful not to uh, delete something you're not supposed to okay um, this uh, now this little plug-in is as is and try at your own risk okay but anyway I think this is gonna wrap it up and uh, um, before I go though like I said this thing will, will do a, a couple hundred buttons I believe if you go over 200, uh, things are going to get a little sluggish. So be very careful how many buttons that you're going to be making here. Uh, it's very simple. And I also believe that this will work with the GoZ. Um, if you got some uh, other stuff that you're working on, another uh, application, and you want to rename it real quick, well, you can use the GoZ and uh, rename it here and take it back over to your other applications. Haven't tested it, but I don't see why it wouldn't work. But anyway, I think this is going to wrap it up, and thank you.